Let us talk about deletion of a node in a linked list. So most of the times deleting a node involves deleting a node from a specific position. For example, if you want to delete the node at position number 3, in this case the node with value 1, so you need a way to make the node with value 15 link with the node with value 9, thereby skipping the node with value 1. Right? Let us see how do we do this in detail. In this example, we will delete the node at position number 3, which means that we will delete the node with the value 8. So the first step is to traverse till the preceding node. Why do we need to travel to the preceding node? Well, that is where we need to do the modifications, right? We need to point the preceding node to the neighbor of the node that has been deleted, right? Essentially, we need to skip pointing to node with value 8. So what we do is we skip that node to be deleted and then point the next pointer of the preceding node to the neighbor of the node that has been deleted. This can be done with this statement. If the preceding node is n, then you can say that n.next is equal to n.next.next, .next, which essentially means that the next pointer of the node n, in this case this node n with the value 9, is equal to the next of the next node. So next of n is 8 and next of 8 is 2. So therefore, 9's next would now be 2 after this statement. So now we have deleted the node at position number 3. Easy, right? Now what if you have to delete the head node? How would you do it? Head node is the first node. Well, it's quite simple. You just move the head pointer to point to the next node. So this statement will do the same thing. If you write head equals to head dot next, it means that head will shift to pointing to the next element. So deleting an element is quite easy in a linked list. Now there are a lot of advantages of linked list. In fact, you can implement stack and queue data structures using the linked list. So I would suggest you to try that out.